since many people are interested in creating fighting games in Game Builder Garage. So I am going to make a video series of, how I made my fighting game in GBG. There are many ways to achieve the same goal, so my sharing is not the only way to do it. You can find another way to make it happen. In these videos, I will use Street Fighter as an example. It's because it is a more well-known game and it is most of the basic mechanics. Let's start with a game screen and two person nodons face to each other. Pull out L stick. And X, Y, A, B buttons. Change these buttons to unpress. Left and right connect to his horizontal move. Up and down connect to jump. X, Y, A, B connect to action. Let's take a look. Everything works as expected, but X, Y, A, B are all doing the same action. So we are going to make it with different animation. If you check out the person no done, it explains that when the action input has a different value, you can perform a different action. Let's try what all the values do. Put 0 here, he has no action. Putting 1 here, he performs a celebrate animation. Putting 2 here, he also performs the same animation. Putting 3 here, he performs a punch animation. Putting 4 here, he performs a kick animation. Putting 5 here, he performs a turn animation. Putting any value higher than 5, he will only perform his default animation. So we can assign a different value when the player presses a different button. Pull out a map nodon. We start with a punch on the X and Y button first. Input range set 0 to 1. Output range set to 0 to 3. Buttons only send a signal 0 and 1, there are no any values in between. So when the player presses the button, value 1 will be mapped to 3. Connect these map node on to action and see. It works great. Let's move on to kick animation on the A and B button. Same as before, but the output range is set to 0 to 4 this time. Connect to action and see. Great. All the actions work as expected. Just the celebrate action happens sometime and which is not what we want. That's because when multiple nodon connected to the same input, it will be an additive math. And the value became higher than 5 and back to the default action. To fix this, we can add a map nodon before the action, so we clip the value between 0 to 4. When I mash the buttons, the celebrate action won't happen again. Now we move on to cool down the action to avoid button mash. In fighting games, they are usually labeled as start frames, active frames, and recover frames. Try not to get too complicated first. Let's cool down each button's action. Pull out a timer and place it before all the map no done. X and A are the heavy attack, so 0 on the first parameter, and hold the signal 1 for 0.3 second. Y and B are the light attack, so I set the hold signal shorter. 0.1 second here. Let's take a look. Now, the heavy action holds longer and the light action holds shorter. 
but when I mash the button, the action is still interrupted by other buttons. Let's try to disable all the buttons when the action is active. Pull out a flag button and place it before the timer no done. Connect all the timer nodons to the flags off and put. L stick is different, you need to flip the value with not nodon first, then multiple the stick and put. Let's check it out. All the actions look good for now. Move on to the damage setup. Each attack should have a different damage output. Let's pull out map Nodon for each move and assign different damage to them. Connect these map nodon to timer. I give heavy punch damage to 10. Light punch damage to 3. Heavy kick damage to 12. Light kick damage to 5. After that, we put them all into counter nodon. Change the counter nodon's count timing. So the damage will add up to this counter when he launches. Also set up the number display, so we can see the total damage from this counter. Go back to our game screen and see how it works now. So you can see the total damage is 182. It looks strange that the attack didn't land on the opponent but damage had been added. So in the next video I am going to show you how to set up hitbox and hurtbox, create a health bar and reduce the opponent's health.